yes our new topic is environmental consequences that means the environmental consequence of the increasing demand for energies so it has a more pollution levels in the quicker depletion of the conventional sources of energy see here the how to overcome energy crises are the judicious use of available energy the promoting renewable energy sources to efficient conversion mechanism and accelerate the place of development of technologies required for harnessing new sources so what is the new source how we can identify here see here in the notes the exploiting any source of energy disturbs the environment in same way or the other in any given situation the source we would choose depends on factors such as the case of extracting energy from the source the economics of the extracting energy from the source the efficiency of the technology available and the environmental damage that will be caused by using that source that is clean fuel that means c n g so c n g is nothing but compressed natural gas so it is a very clean full gas that means it would be more extract to say that a particular source is cleaner than the other sources of energy so though we talk of clean fuels like cng it would be more extract and to say that the particular source is cleaner than the other we have already seen that burning fossil fuels in previous classes it causes very air pollution in some cases the actual operation of device like a solar cell may be pollution free but the assembly of the device would have caused some environmental damage so that means it uh, occupies a large area so that is environmental damage and its research continues in these areas to produce longer lasting devices that will cause less damage throughout the life so that's why we have to be a considered a clean fuels like cng gas that means compressed natural gas so it is a very new sources of energy we have to suggest to reduce energy consumption so we have to demanding for this cng energy so here the no source is pollution free even if the conversion source of energy to required from is pollution free the assembly of devices used to have caused some damage to the environment so that's why we have to be need the new source of energy that is compressed natural gas now here the hydrogen has been used as rocket fuel it is also a clean fuel but it's clear than the cng how see here in rocket carries oxygen in liquid form which helps in burning the hydrogen in liquid form it is used as a fuel and produces water water does not cause any damage to environment that means hydrogen gas that is a very liquid form so it when it is fuel that produced water only so that water cannot be any damage in environmental so that's why in rocket fuel has mostly used by hydrogen and oxygen so on other hand the cng on burning produces carbon dioxide and water so that's why is a clear fuel than cng that means hydrogen is a cleaner fuel than the cng why it is burning produces carbon dioxide and water mean the carbon dioxide is not a pollutant it it leads to rise in temperature so this would affect the polar ice in life on the earth it is at risk due to global warming this is nothing but greenhouse effect so it shows the hydrogen is cleaner fuel than the cng gas start this one let's see here the difference between cng and lpg you know about the cng cng means compressed natural gas now lpg means liquefied petroleum gas you know about this one gas so we are using in our 
homes by using cooking heating water and like that so the liquid petroleum gas is flammable mixture of hydrocarbon gases used as fuel in heating appliances and cooking equipment and vehicles also it is increasingly used as an aerosol propellant and a refrigerant so here placing chlorofluorocarbons in an effort to reduce damage so that's why we have to the lpg has a lower energy density so see here the how the difference between cng and lpg see the first point in cng gas its main constant is methane in lpg has the propane and butane what are the main sources of the cngs are oil wells coal bed and methane wells so you know oil wells oil wells means natural oil wells coal bed coal bed also you know that means coal mountains like that so in methane wells so in lpg it is automatically generated from gas fields gas fields means when the natural gas is extracted from the reservoir now the c1 third one is it is used for gasoline in automobiles in lpg it is used for heating and cooking in homes refrigeration industrial agricultural catering and automobile fuel so it is the use of the lpg now in cng it releases lesser greenhouse gases so it release lesser greenhouse gas in lpg it releases carbon dioxide which is greenhouse gas but it is cleaner when compared to gasoline now fifth one it is lighter than air and hence depresses quickly in the event of spillage now the see the fifth one in lpg it is highly inflammable it is heavier than air and on leakage will settle to ground and accumulate in lower lying areas here the spillage spillage means is nothing but the action of spilling a liquid or the fact of a liquid being spilled for example uh, spill the milk and spill the water that means a slop splatter disorder shared like that so hence we are the main differences between the cng and lpg now what are the advantages and disadvantages of lpg and cng so the advantages of the cng sir it does not contaminate or dilute the tankage oil thus increasing the life of lubricating oil and the next one the emission of greenhouse gases is reduced 80% when compared to gasoline vehicles and the natural gas disappears easily in air and it is not flammable hence cng vehicles are safer than gasoline vehicles so cng is very cheaper than gasoline or diesel now in advantage of lpg lpg means you know liquefied petroleum gas it is very cheaper than diesel or gasoline and lpg vehicles have lower maintenance cost it has lower emission than gasoline or diesel it is non toxic and non corrosive it requires less space than cng for storage these are the advantages of the cng and lpg and the disadvantages of using cng and lpg in vehicles are see cng in cng occupies more space than gasoline and additional space in truck of a car or the bed of pickup truck is used to store the cng tanks and in lpg lpg has lower energy density than gasoline or diesel and hence the equivalent fuel consumption is more and lpg provides less upper cylinder wall lubrication if lpg fuel engine is not suitable modified it will be lead to wall aid and it does not disappear disperse easily and is readily inflammable so these are the disadvantages of the cng and lpg gases so finally so in this chapter the how long will an energy source last us that means we saw earlier in previous classes we cannot depend on the fossil fuels much longer so such as that will we get 
depleted someday or said to be exhaustible sources of non-renewable source of energy. On the other hand, if we manage biomass by replacing the trees we cut down for firewood, we can be assured of a constant supply of energy at a particular rate. Such energy sources that can be regenerated called renewable sources of energy. So renewable sources of energy, for example, energy due to flow of water, that means due to continuous water cycle in a nature and also wind energy. Wind energy means repetitive currents of wind are more or less available at all the places. See the two energy sources that you would be considered to be exhaustible. So what is the reasons that means coal and petroleum are it's a considerable as exhaustible source of energy because millions of years ago the large plants ancient creatures died. That means they decomposed and were buried layer upon layer under the earth due to high pressure and excess amount of heat generated over millions of years. These layers converted into fossil fuels once they are exhausted they cannot be produced quickly in nature therefore they are considered as exhaustible sources of energy. In renewable sources of energy is a available in our natural environment in the form of some continuing or repetitive currents of energy or it is stored in such large underground reservoirs that the rate of depletion of the reservoir because extraction of usable energy is practically negligible. So what we have to need here see these important points our energy requirements increase with our standard of living. So we are our energy requirements as more and more day by day we have to using so, so, so that's why here the energy requirements very increasing with our standard of our living. So in also in order to fulfill our energy requirements we try to improve the efficiency of the energy usage and also try to explore new sources of energy. So when we have to also need a look for new sources of energy because the conventional sources of energy like fossil fuels are in danger of getting exhausted soon. And the energy source we select would depend on factors like the ease and cost of extracting energy from the source, the efficiency of the technology available for using the source of energy and the environmental impact of using that source. Though that's why the many of the sources ultimately derive their energy from the sun. So we have to need, we have to be very, very important these things from this chapter. So the chapter name is the source of energy. The source of energy means we have to be two types that is conventional and non-conventional. The conventional is all nothing but non-renewable source of energy and non-conventional is nothing but renewable source of energy. So we have to, renewable source of energy means uh, so to cause uh, any environmental but uh, in non-conventional source of, that means non-renewable source of energy means we have to cause a environment. So these are the main fact of the sources of energy. Thank you.